Alexander Scholznitsyn, who wrote the Gulag Archipelago, probably one of the most important texts ever written, grew up during the Nazi regime, during the war. And he was in a concentration camp for a long time. And during this time, obviously filled with a lot of pain, suffering and horror, he contemplated his behavior deeply. And he asked himself the most difficult of questions, such as how had his personality contributed to the catastrophe of his life? He reconsidered his whole life in the time there. He had plenty of time to win the camps. How, would he, how had he missed the mark in the past? How many times had he acted against his own conscience, engaging in actions that he knew to be wrong? How many times had he betrayed himself and lied? Was there any way his past could be rectified and atoned for in the muddy hell of the Soviet gulag? Imagine that, you know, you hear about the terror and catastrophe of living within a concentration camp during that time. And you think just, you, you can barely comprehend it, the amount of malevolence that is being experienced. And then you think, how can Scholznitsyn use his time there to then reflect on his own life in a way that assumes all responsibility of pain and suffering on himself? He poured over the details of his life with a fine-tuned comb, like he was uh, in a goddamn meditation retreat. But he was in the opposite of one. He asked himself, how can he stop making mistakes now? How can he repair the damage done by his past failures? He took himself apart piece by piece while his world around him was being taken apart piece by piece. This is, this is astonishing to me because uh, now in a time, the majority of people are growing up in the time where it's the opposite. It's never been better to be a human being for the majority of people. And yet, we do the opposite. We don't ask ourselves these difficult questions. We become too soft. We've, we've, we're too fluffy. And we're not asking the hard questions because our, our situation doesn't demand asking hard questions because it's very easy to go through life without asking hard questions. I don't have to do this. You guys think this is fucking enjoyable? This is not enjoyable. I force myself to do this. This is a way of suffering. I'm picking my, my, myself apart piece by piece by discussing these ideas out loud. That is not easy. I don't need to be rewarded from it. I don't want any praise for it. Because it's what we should do. It should be a right. It should be a given as a human being to do this. I'm just astonished that, that, that Schultz Nitzen took this time to pick himself apart during this, this, this historical time in, in a Soviet prison camp system. And without it, <laughs> without it, he wouldn't have wrote the Gulag Archipelago. And one man's decision to change his life instead of cursing fate, back to, the back to the title of the chapter, instead of criticizing the world, instead of cursing fate, he took responsibility, set his house in order, shook the whole pathological system of the co communist tyranny to its core by writing the Gulag Archipelago.